Hey friends, it's Leah Love. I'm back again and I am actually taking a bit of a walk. So I thought I would do two things at once. Let's see if I can actually manage to do this. It's kind of like walking and or talking and chewing gum at the same time. So we'll see. I'm back here in the lovely South Carolina. Love the warm weather it's like it's perfect a little bit overcast not too cloudy but not too bright either so i was thinking about a few things as you know i'm recently back from our honeymoon and that's for another video because i absolutely adored it oh my gosh i'm sorry you guys it's actually starting to rain wow um, I actually really, really enjoyed the honeymoon because it was such a wonderful time for us just to relax and get away from the hustle and bustle, as well as the stress of the weddings. As you all know, weddings can be so, so super stressful. So we really, really needed that downtime. It was absolutely wonderful. Um, but one of the things that I happened to do while on the honeymoon was really spend um, some quality time, hello, um, meditating on life itself and on the transitions. As a lot of you may know in the various groups that I'm in on Facebook, I absolutely adore times of transition. I really adore, you know, the process in which I have to mindfully and consciously transition into another phase of my life and right now my transition is not only from singledom to married life but it's also going from being a working woman all of my life to a stay-at-home mom and for me that was really really important and of course one of the prerequisites um, that I had during my courtship phase and while I was dating with purpose is because I was very, very clear on the fact that I wanted to transition into being a stay-at-home mom and wife. And so I wanted to ensure that I met someone who valued that as well um, from a man's perspective. And so I was able to, you know, meet Eric, we both, really agreed on the importance of that. And it's also part and parcel because when he grew up, his mom was a stay-at-home mom as well. And, and so he was able to value that. And also just wanting someone who's just present and can really focus on the family, the relationship, and be there for him um, when he has his downtime or he gets home from work. But what's really, really interesting is that, you know, being a single mom for many years, I was married before um, for over 10 years. And so I, it's not that I've not been married before, but I certainly in that time in my life was the main breadwinner in the family. And I really had to maintain a different type of energy, what I like to call a more masculine energy um, while I was working and supporting the family as well as doing wife duties mom duties that required a lot of masculine energy out of me and it was very draining very tiring and i really swore that i never wanted to do that again i really wanted to really get myself into a space where i can explore and express the feminine aspects of myself and you know i know that everyone has their own way of doing things and their own desires for their lives. So I can only speak from my perspective, but I really wanted a feminine lifestyle. I really wanted a lifestyle where I can, you know, focus on the nurturing aspects of life and being able to really be there with my children. Um, some of you may know I do homeschool and I have been working from home for many, many years. I think I'm gonna stand under this tree because this rain is getting a little bit extra right now. So, you know, I have been working from home 
for many, many years. And so that was partly getting me there because at least I was in the home. And I felt very, very good about being able to be with my girls, my younger set, um, basically 24 seven. And it was just a much, I guess I can't say much less stressful. I can say it was differently stressful having to maintain that position while also, hello, how are you? While also um, raising the children and being there for them and homeschooling them. And um, I also had my grandchild in my home at that time as well. So um, that was different. But um, now I'm at the stage where, you know, sorry, we've got some lawn lawn machines going past us. So yeah, so I was at the stage where, you know, I really wanted to be full-time available, but that requires a transition. I mean, at least for me, I understand that switching from go, go, go mode all the time in terms of utilizing a different type of internal energy to work the day job, to fulfill all of those requirements, to pay all the bills, and just to do so many things at once, um, that required a more masculine energy from me and my approach to life I felt was very very masculine and it didn't feel good for me personally it works for a lot of women it seems but for me personally it just wasn't working for me and so there's got to be a transition there's got to be a way in which um, I can really you know exude and exist within a very feminine mode which requires forethought a lot more forethought it requires uh, more intuition more internal conversations i actually have time um, to be me to learn more about me and to do more of the things that i want to do but it's going to also require a level of intentionality it's going to require a level of mindfulness because it's very, very easy for any of us to switch back into um, a mode that we are most comfortable with, that's more habitual for us. But getting into a space where, you know, I realize that I have time. And so that's been one of my main challenges over the past um, couple of days that we've been home from the honeymoon. I'm also kind of like an A-type personality. So, you know, if I feel like I've got some things that I need to accomplish, I begin setting about immediately, you know, to-do lists, checklists, and, you know, I begin attacking and analyzing it um, mentally, you know, and I begin to want to use a mental force, kind of like um, mental muscles to get things done, as opposed to understanding that all things come in their right time. And to give you an example, for instance, even before the honeymoon, let me switch this, my hand's getting tired. Even before the honeymoon, you know, I was already thinking about the fact that I have to redecorate our house um, because I moved into Eric's house and I am airbnb um my house in Atlanta. So I have already been thinking about, okay, how am I gonna do this? And, What's the color scheme and what am I going to do and blah, blah, blah. So you see, I'm already in this, you know, getting myself stressed out about redecorating. And I realized that when I was on the honeymoon, we walked into our villa and it looked as if my Pinterest board had come alive. It was all whites, you know, total beach scene because we um, were in St. Lucia. And it was an absolutely gorgeous villa that we were living in with the white slip covers, the white canopy bed with the mosquito netting and and with the contrast of the um, photo frames um, that were black. And then, of course, the stark um, blast of green because of the green palm leaves that were decorated inside of these tall vases. And so it was white, black and then with splashes of green. And I was just so in love with the whole aspect of it. I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And it just hit me that that's actually the decor that I want for our upstairs area because I'm a beach person. I love being near water. I'm a water sign. And I just love the clean, simple, uncluttered look um, with my decor. And so I realized in that moment 
that the very differences that I was speaking about in terms of transitioning was encapsulated in that, in that here I was starting to get myself into a mental tizzy about, you know, redecorating and, and, and what I needed to do and the tasks that were before me, as well as unpacking my stuff and unpacking the children's stuff. But I realized that in time, in due time, the answers come in a much more relaxed, a much more intuitive, in a much more fluid way. And so I was reminded that that's in fact how I really want to approach all of my life as much as I possibly can. I know it's not 100, but I want to get into a space where I'm more fluid, I'm more intuitive, I'm more insightful, more thoughtful, um, and taking many things into account in terms of how do I feel? Why do I want what I want? Why am I doing the things that I'm doing? How does it make me feel? How does it affect others? How does this enhance our family life? Um, how does this enhance our marriage? And so for me, you know, I really wanted to focus on that good aspect of it. And it felt really good to kind of just sit myself down and stop stressing about the simplest of things such as interior design. Um, and let, allow life to present the information in due time, slow down. And for me, so much of my life when I am um, exuding more feminine energy is about the slow down. It's about putting my shoulders back and relaxing and not being so hyped up and having to get a long to-do list done, but approaching life from a mindset that informs me that life will present the information when I need it and it will do it in the best way possible because I could have gone forward with my previous interior design because it was stress-based. Um, it wasn't intuitive based. It wasn't representative of the space that I claim that I want to be in, but I was already going off track. And so I want to kind of share more of my insights and thoughts as we, you know, as the days and weeks and months go along, transitioning from, you know, single mom life to married, stay at home um, wife. Uh, that's really an intriguing subject for me. I hope this was interesting for you. And, you know, I hope I wasn't um, just kind of running on and on. It's, it's a topic that I'm really, really passionate about. And I'm so grateful. And that's topic number two, which I will probably save for a little bit later, is this concept of gratitude. I feel like I have such a new level of appreciation for the state of gratitude. And so I do want to share that with you all um, on the next video. So I'll definitely be back. Um, just throw up 15 minutes or less videos whenever I get the chance and just share our life, share um, our new marriage, share a new mindset share family goals and how we are doing with that. So um, if you want to reach out to me, you can always go to my Instagram page, which is Leah Love Online, or our family vlog, which is S as in Sam, S Family Vlog. Both of those are on Instagram, so you can catch me there. Um, and then I'm also on, um, you know, Facebook, Leah Love Schleter. So... Have a great day, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.